In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation, which is a bit of work. We have two sodium atoms here and just one here. I'm going to put a two in front of the NaOH. I can see also I have two nitrogen atoms here and just one here. I'm going to put a two here. Let's see. The sulfates, they're balanced, so I'm not going to worry about those. For the hydrogens, I have 2 times 4, that's 8, plus 2 times the 1. So I have 10 hydrogens here. Over here, I have 2 times 3 is 6, 7, 8. So I need to put a 2 in front of the H2O. That balances everything. So this is our balanced molecular equation. Bit of work. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, ammonium compounds, they're very soluble. We're going to write AQ because that's going to dissolve and split apart into its ions. Sodium hydroxide, that's a strong base. That'll be soluble, split apart into its ions. Another sodium compounds, very soluble. The ammonia is a bit of a problem here. In this equation, it could be a gas or it could be dissolved. It could be aqueous. Either way, it doesn't matter too much because we're not going to split ammonia apart. If it's a gas, we don't split it apart. If it's aqueous, NH3, that's a weak base. So we don't split that apart. I'm going to call it a gas. Water is a liquid. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. The ammonium ion right here is always one plus. Good one to remember. We have two of them. So two ammonium ions, and I'll write the states later. I won't write that now. Plus we have the sulfate ion here, which is always two minus. So we have our SO4, two minus sodium, group one on the periodic table, one plus, and then the hydroxide, that's one minus. So I have two sodium ions, and then I also have two hydroxide ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have plus and two minus here. So we have two sodium ions, just like the reactants. And then we have the sulfate ion again. And then we said our ammonia here is a gas. If it was aqueous, we wouldn't split it apart either. So we're going to keep this together as 2NH3. And then we have 2 water. We don't split liquids apart either. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we'll cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. I see the ammonium ion here, and then I see ammonia here. But they're different. I can't cross that out. I do see in the reactants the sulfate ion and in the products. Get rid of that. I also have two sodium ions in the reactants and in the products. Get rid of that. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for ammonium sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. I'll clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a positive and a negative. They balance out to a net charge of zero. And these are all neutral compounds, net charge of zero over here. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same on both sides. For ammonia, we didn't split that apart because it was a gas. If it was aqueous, we wouldn't have split it apart either since it's a weak base. So if the NH3 was aqueous, we would just have AQ down here at the end. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for NH42SO4 plus NaOH. Thanks for watching.